An increasing number of homeless people is creating another downtown dilemma for neighbors and visitors. News 4 Tucson investigator Matthew Schwartz was there early this morning and has a look. It's 7.30 in the morning and homeless people line the sidewalk next to Pennington Street waiting for free food. People who work nearby say the homeless numbers here are steadily increasing. At least 50 show up every day. Police keep watch and most pedestrians avoid that side of the street. At 8.30, a pastor delivers breakfast and a prayer. Fill our hearts with the Holy Spirit. Pastor Amos Jung of the Loving Church is a hero to the homeless. He and church members hand out pudding, fruit cups, water, and donuts six days a week. How much money does this cost your church? I don't know. I'm not counted. One cafe owner who doesn't want to be identified says the homeless relocating here from Biente de Augusto Park is scaring customers away, costing him $1,000 a month. Yeah, I feel so sorry, but I have to do the, my side job. We continue to receive reports of the homeless causing problems here, from defecating on the sidewalk to fighting, to scaring visitors away from the main public library. Do they hassle you at all? Sometimes. What do they say? Um, they ask me for change, if I have anything to eat. Sometimes if I have food, I'll give it to them. So. But you still walk past them and into the library because you just had to go there? Yeah, there are people too. Kitten Williams is 55 and homeless. Well, not everybody acts like an idiot just because they're on the street. City ordinance requires the homeless leave at least a five foot wide path for people to walk through and that they leave the park at closing. The city attorney is working on enhancing the regulations. It's key to get our arms around this because we have millions and millions of dollars invested by the private sector in the re revitalization of downtown. Council is expected to get new recommendations from the city attorney next month on how to handle the latest homeless dilemma downtown. We will keep you updated. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call 955-4444. Investigating for you, Matthew Schwartz, News 4 Tucson.